All right, guys. Welcome, welcome today on this cold winter day here in North Carolina. And what do we have here? It is a colt in here, but I did not tell nobody what kind of colt I had. I had that little thing for everybody to guess. Gosh, I feel like that guy with the reviewing this thing. I feel like the guy with the big wallet, small Peter. And I'm only half line. I don't have a big wallet, so. Yeah. But anyways, let's get into this, guys. Let me spin this around and let's get ready to open this. And we can see what's going on with this and what I have in here. Uh, but first, I got to say, wow, thank you, guys. My channel, a subscriber, has went through the roof. And I do appreciate you guys so much. And y'all know our YouTube's fucking out of the rhythm. It hates us. It don't give a damn about us. Gun guys, it don't recommend us. The only reason we grow at all is because of you guys liking and sharing. So thank you guys so much for helping me put my put our foot up YouTube's algorithm and saying F you to their algorithm. So, yeah, screw you, YouTube. Uh, and thank you guys so much for y'all's help. And, uh, well, without further ado, guys, let's get into this review and it would be a da, 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 a 1911 guys the beat size the gold cup white and and all I gotta say guys is wow just holding this thing it is immaculate film now the, it is made of stainless steel the gold cup now this is like I said before it's a gold cup white it has no rib on it uh, it's got the Bomar you know style sides unlike the old Allison coat the Allison's I think that's what they called the old ones had and I tried to you guys let you see what you got yeah nice side picture come on now which is not, my camera's not one of the crop rate and focus, but guys, that fiber optic sight down there looks amazing. Let's see now, focus. There we go. Look at that, guys. That is shining. Wow. Let me move in and get the camera to focus on it. And Colt is generous enough to leave you a little bit of a still on that fiber optic but my phone is not going to crop right there we go guys see that right over that fiber optics right there that is so awesome for them to do that and when you're out in a light i have been told like i said i haven't got to do nothing with this because of the weather i've had it a while since post but like i said um adjustable sites the bomar style and i guess you could throw something else on here if you wanted to uh like I said, this thing just, I don't know, guys. It's hard to explain how good this thing feels just to the hand. Uh, and wow, that it just looks so good. Let's do a magazine drop. Let's see, I'll probably get banned from YouTube for doing that. Wow, guys, that just flew out. Holy cow. Like I said, I, they're going to kick me off now, guys. Look, I'm putting the magazine in here. Oh, God, they're going to, like, ban me forever. That is freaking awesome. So, I want a lot workmanship on these mags, dude. Focus. You had to focus there. Yeah, Coat Auto. Nice stainless steel mag. Um... Of course, you know, the main thing has the match grade Colt barrel. I think the price point is these are 12 to 1300 guys. Let's see the slide. Wow. That is like glass, guys. Oh, that just sounds wicked. No hiccup, nothing. Holy crap. That is just freaking sick. Um... And it has GT and GT uh, GT and grip. Oh, I can't talk. <laughs> you know me. I never edit shit out. I'm just real. 
I am almost pretty sure these are VZs because VZ has these same grips for sale on their website. So I'm almost sure these cheese graters are uh, VZs. Um, really nice looking. But like I said, they feel great. But man, they are grippy MFers. And of course, they got, I think there's an undercut under here on the light. Yep. Now some have stippling. Mine did not, guys. On my light. But I think these are MSRP for around anywhere from twelve hundred to thirteen hundred bucks for these nineteen elevens. But I mean this is my first guys, you know, in a high end nineteen eleven a long time. I owned the Kimber a long time ago and I had maybe when I was in my twenties I had a just a plain cult government in my hand so wow this is by far the most well built 1911 that I own right now let's see guys about the overhang wow on the frame into the receiver that is freaking awesome that is always an issue on mass produced 1911s Wow, that sounds good. Nothing wrong there. And the ser serrations, oh my God, they just feel grippier than any gun I've ever felt, guys. I mean, these things reach out and grab you. I mean, there's no doubt about that. And like I said, uh... The machining is bar to none. I have yet to see machining this well. But like I said, their star to show is really that Colt match grade uh, match grade barrel. And originally, I, if I'm not mistaken, guys, let me know. I don't think the match grade barrel would fit in a regular government and a uh, regular government not too from Colt. So they these are cut quite a bit different right here. On, so they can accommodate this match grade barrel. Which I know Colt isn't always available. And they're hard to find sometimes. Get some light in there, guys. Sorry, I'm inside and the light ain't that great. I'm having to use an artificial light here. Yeah. That's nice. That's great. That feels really good. Snap that there, guys. I think this Colt can take it. See that trigger. Wow. Oh, that just sounds, oh, yeah. Dirty boy, yeah, listen to that. Oh, wow, God, guys, that is awesome. Oh, well, I'm getting excited. But, yeah, I can't wait to get some footage just got for you guys shooting it. Yes, and I am going to shoot it. It just, you know, I, of course I'm not going to carry this thing, but I am going to shoot it and have fun with it. Um, so, I, you know, I jumped my gun. I, I, I plumb got into the Colt before, the pistol before I told you what you got with. Of course, you get a really nice Colt mag. Unfortunately, this one only holds seven, and you know, I got uh, another Colt mag ordered, and I got a Wilson Combat ordered, so I'll have a couple extra mags just for this time. Like, I like to have mags for each sip at 19 of them I have, so I'm not always barring between them. Um, first of all, you get this really nice hard case. And I've had people call me, why do I bitch about hard cases? Well, guys, it's not because I'm I'm hard up for me, but I think about, come on, guys, you know, you know, you have the one friend whose wife is constantly on his sack about when he spends money on a gun. So anything that the company can give you, give that guy, you know, as a limit of money, if it's just a case, if it's a cheap ass brush, rod you know <laughs> cleaner or anything that can give you to keep you from going out and have to spend extra money to justify to the wife or whoever that 
you need this. Well, it's really awesome when the company includes the extra, so even you don't have to spend extra money for that guy who does not have the big wallet. So I ain't bitching for myself when I, I'm doing it because I want companies to give people the most valuable, most value for their money. And some people are idiots. They don't realize that when you bitch out a company, you're trying to help the perf. I'm not on the company's side when it comes to this shit. I'm on the consumer side. The dude's buying it. Fuck the companies, you know, because they got tons of money. They can throw a few bucks. I get these God blessed cases by a dime a dozen. But, you know, they're going to cost you 20 bucks, 15 20 $30, whatever. To some people, that's a lot of damn money. So screw the companies when they don't, because they get these things in bulk probably. You know, it costs them much more money. So they can help out the consumer and give them an extra bone. You know what I mean? Like I said, me personally, I don't give a fuck. I can go out and buy a ton of shit. I mean, like this one guy I mean, was commenting while back on my video, ooh, well, I'm sitting there, baby, bitch, tomorrow. I have more guns than I can shake a fucking stick at. It's not because I'm cheap. I'm just looking out for an average guy. has to explain everything he does when he buys something to a significant other. And it does add up. You're spending $1,300 on a gun. Why do you need more? Well, I need a case and cleaning supplies and all. Well, yeah. See what I mean? So that's why I harp so much when high-end companies, like auto ordinance, I still harp on them for just giving you a freaking box, you know? Colt at least give you a hard case, a really nice hard case. Uh, and let's see what loot they gave. I think a typical bull NRA bullshit, which I don't really support NRA no more. I think they sold out. Yeah, this is just to get the free NRA crap. Uh, what's this? Is this a parts list, guys? Maybe? Nah, typical attorney general's warning bullshit. Uh, you got the flag up there, of course. The pistol plug. The owner's manual, which was really nice. But, like I said, Colt did include a really nice hard case in this for the guys. They don't have to go out and buy another. And it does have a place you can keep it locked. Right down here. So, yeah, you can put a lock through that. Uh, but, yeah, guys, you know, like I said, I'm for the consumer. I want them to get the best bang for the buck. Well, you guys that are single or make a lot of money, you probably don't understand. You know, they don't really think about that. Because a lot of guys that go buy a gun, they got to justify that to the wife or girlfriend. You know what I mean? And you don't, especially bought this Colt, which probably got buys this Colt ain't going to be you like nobody's bitch. You know, he's on a place to buy us and whatever hell else he wants. But on some you know, occasions, you know what I mean? Get him in here. Start the show there. Uh, that, you know, they're on a tight budget and everything the company can give them helps out. If it's down to a three or four dollar cleaning little clean kit throwing aside there, that helps. And I understand gum companies don't make a ton. They're not rich either, but, you know, a cheap Chinese case to throw in there and a little cleaning supplies, whatever, for that average guy don't have the extra money. And that's my opinion. It may not be worth a damn, but uh, it's my two fucking cents on that. Uh, and that's the reason... I do harp about when companies don't give you shit because I think they can do more. And like I said, if you're married and you need to drop 1300 bucks, 800 bucks on a gun, then you got a splendid wife and you need 50 to 60 more bucks for this and that. They don't get it. Some women do, but not all of them. But that's the reason I harp on companies and the case and supply so much, guys. So a lot of us aren't, aren't as fortunate as some of uh, the rest of us are about that. But that's why I harp on it. Uh, not necessarily for me, because, fuck it, I don't care about that. If I want to catch you, I can go buy something nice, but <clears throat> that's the reason, my reason behind that. Ooh, nice foam in there, by the way. <clears throat> but, yeah, guys, this is a really nice 1911, and I've had my mitts on some 1911s here, here of late. And this is probably the best feeling high-end 1911 I've had so far. Sorry, guys, about that damn shadow. I'm having to use a light. Uh, <clears throat> not a light source. So, I still stand by what I say. If you don't have a lot of money to spend, guys, a rock island is definitely the way to go. <clears throat> On the low end, 1911. And T-Sauce is doing really good, too. And I really enjoyed the hell out of my 10 millimeter, which I got to get some footage of that. Because they got a 1911 government coming in at $360-something or 339 
<clears throat> but I can't try them on, so I can't really say how they're 1911 millimeters, but they're 10 millimeters done really well. But yeah, so guys, if you're if you're staying off about dumping that much money into a, a cold, gold cup, well, I am very pleased with this gun. I have absolutely no issues with this thing out of the box, and I've never got a 1911 so far. Where I've seen it this immaculate, you know, the it was preserved, nice and egg old. They didn't clean the residue out of the barrel, guys. It was clean as a whistle, as old saying. I cannot believe that. Uh, but yeah, this is really, really uh, an immaculate 1911. The machine I've seen is bar none, nothing compares I've seen so far. That I've ever had on my channel. You know, of course, there's Les Bear. And then Wilson Combat probably might be a step above this guy. But that's, you're starting to get in the 2500s to 3 grand, you know, that, at that point. Which I don't know if I'll ever be lucky enough to own one of them guys. I am pleased with this guy. But as always, guys, I have to say again, thank you so much for all your support. It means so much. I never thought I'd get the subscribers I did. Uh, and I, like I said, I can't appreciate you guys so much. Uh, trying to think of anything else to say about this. And I don't want to waste y'all's time. Uh, yeah, this is a immaculate 1911. Best I've held so far on this channel is this guy right here. This freaking coat, gold, gold cup trophy light has been freaking awesome. I cannot wait to shoot it and, uh, let you guys know that's going. Eventually, guys, I will have a review. I will do a T sauce government. I'm getting some bomb line uh, to review just to have. I, I still like this. The GI 19 Lamb is one of my favorite. Uh, the second best 19 Lamb I got is my Springfield. This guy's, of course, a little bit above it. I, you know, just for the way this guy was packaged, guys, from Colt, it was uh, immaculately preserved in here. I, I quite never seen that quite like it, how well the lube and stuff. I did clean it. It's like even the polish from the factory, guys. I mean, other than my grimy fat, fat fingerprints out there. It was like freaking awesome. So. Yeah. This is amazing. And if you guys guessed what, right on what this was, comment below and let me know what was your guess. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, that is my video on this guy right out of the box. What you get, I got, like I said, 13 plus in this. I think they can get them cheaper than that. In some places, they might be more expensive. And we all know how cool it is. They're not always available. They're hard to find, like... Literally, the, the shop I got this at was Price the Street. They had just this one, and this one only. And I happened to snag it up to do this re review on. And always, like I said, great general store out here. The people out in this area are so nice. Those high country arms and spruce pine. If you guys are in the North Carolina area, swing by there, give them some love, check out some stuff. You know, great little mom and pop store. Love stuff like that to death nowadays because it's hard for you know mom and pop stores to survive in this era it just really is compete with uh corporate bull crap big company corporations but uh anyways this is an immaculate guy on guys i know yeah pretty soon i'm gonna do an update on my uh rock island nickel plate and i ain't had it on the channel in a while i thought i'd probably drag her out of safe and i hope that little post that you guys about when uh buds had the rock island nickel plated back in stock uh, it was for Team Buds members. I hope some of you jumped on that and got one while you could. I think it's gone already. So I took my post down because I don't want to leave people on when it's not stock because I checked earlier and it was gone. So I hope some of my subscribers got one of those because they're hard to find. Tell you what, I bought another, guys. Yeah. Because that gun is that good. That is a, such a sweet gun once it's broke in. That bitch had the stiffest slide of any mother... Mm. I can't say what they're As in, when they took me a while to break out in 1911. And other than that, that was such a good gun. And the magazine sucking. As I 
without telling you guys, the only thing about Rock Island, they cut corners on mags, and they have to, you know, if you get that much quality for the money. They, but you know, what the hell, got to spend you 30, 40 bucks on Wilson Combat Magazine, and there you go, or Chip McCormick's good, I think. Hell, yeah, Colt Mag, you can't go around with Springfield, but you know, just, I don't know what they call Act Mags or some weird crap like that. They might be good, but I'd never keep, I keep them in my 1911 pile. But, you know, if I'm going to run it, if some people carry these, you know, if you want something you depend on, you know, Wilson, Colt, or Springfield, or Chip McCormick I've used personally. I like those mags. Wow, guys, I have made this video way too damn long. Uh, I just ain't done one in a while. And I'm excited and thankful to have this Colt. I am so thankful for it and you guys and the whole big family of YouTube and on here. You guys are awesome. And again, thank you all so much for helping me get the... You guys did this. Not fucking YouTube. Not their out damn algorithm. They all suck ass. They don't care about the stun channels. And the only reason we grow is because of you guys. Like I said before, the only reason a damn dog taking a shit in the yard will get more views than us. Or, a, or of course, a big fat chick twerking on the table will get way more views. Ugh. But anyways, thanks guys. Later. You guys have a great day. Later.